doing a little jet change and uh, carb adjustment. And uh, yeah, got, uh, yeah, idling nice. Cooker for, uh, Tricker for a little road test and um, steady cruise, and I believe I got my my cut note issue uh, rectified, which is comes down to the fuel pump. So it's been been slowly uh, degrading. So I've been uh, <laughs> I've been changing jetting, thinking it's uh, you know that, but it's actually uh, been trying to compensate. But it was actually. Uh, just a weak fuel pump. Um, so now I got her got her back where she should be and uh, street driven car. So there's lots of debate on whether to run uh, timed vacuum or, or full, full manifold vacuum. Um, I've seen lots of debate in the videos and I can tell you that uh, absolutely, <laughs> I run full manifold vacuum on this combination and uh, the reason being at idle when you have a, a lean mixture you need more spark advance to ignite your air fuel and uh, by running full manifold vacuum I can keep the throttle plates closed more which allows less air, less fuel, which in turn equals a cooler idling engine. And uh, I, I'm not, I've, I've tested it myself. I've, uh, I've changed it back and uh, readjusted my idle circuit and uh, idle goes from 160 up to 180, up to 180. so, uh, if you're having some cooling, overheating possible issues at uh, idle or light to light traffic, um, maybe just try try uh, going to um, full manifold vacuum. Um, that's how I've run all my cars, my street combinations, and uh, with this um, camshaft that's here, it's a fairly big you know it's an aggressive cam we're just under 700 lift it's a solid roller um so when there's no load on it i take advantage of the extra few degrees of free timing added at idle by the vacuum pot and it is adjustable too um there is a there is a allen set screw inside on this particular one so you can tailor it to your specific requirements but like i say i've seen lots of lots of videos on youtube and debate whether to run ported or or uh or full, you know or time vacuum or full manifold vacuum and uh by not running full manifold vacuum you're giving up um you're giving up some idle tunability not power just you know um and uh i mean basically at light at light cruise or um light loads when you're driving whether you're running timed or or um or full manifold vacuum you're going to have virtually the same results in that case but uh this is more for uh i do it more for the uh idle quality um this is a 950 carb open plenum intake it's got uh, rec port heads, so it's not really an engine combination that's, uh, it's not really uh, your most favorable street combination, um, but it it runs and drives nice. Um, but uh, yeah, that's uh, short, quick, and you will get lots of probably different opinions about that, but uh, <laughs> well, all I can say is, you know what? Try it yourself. If you're having issues running hot at idle, and you're running, uh, well, and, and if you're not running vacuum advance at all, 
try hooking that up and try running full manifold vacuum. You'll see as soon as you hook it up, your, your engine's gonna, gonna start running faster. So you can turn the idle down to get the throttle plates closed, um, closed more and turn taking in less, uh, less air, less fuel. Uh, if you're taking, you're burning less air and less fuel at idle, you're not gonna make you're not going to make as much heat, which is a good thing. So uh, that's it. I don't know. Watch a video. Look at my temperature gauge. I've just been out driving around with this thing, and I just did a, a jet change on it. Just went down one size in the in the uh, on the primary side. Um, just pulled the plug and had a look, and um, put the vacuum gauge on it to. Uh, to uh, set my idle mixture up and um, yeah I'm getting uh, reading around uh, right around 10 inches there at uh, idle which is obviously not enough to run vacuum brakes which you can see my manual setup but uh, nonetheless 10 inches is about right for for uh, this combination anyways so uh, anyways yeah well, uh, that's it. I wasn't even planning on doing this, but uh, quick video. And um, yeah, try uh, again, try running full manifold vacuum to your vacuum advance pot on your distributor. And uh, let me know how it works out for you. But uh, Hopefully we'll make it back out to the track next uh, next Friday, last weekend here, we're on that 29th and 30th. So hopefully I can get out and make uh, get some couple clean runs in. Alrighty, thanks for watching.